Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Upper Mississippi here at RVR River Valley Restorations. Today, uh, well, actually, tonight, we're headed home from a long day. We got the uh, entire back lot graveled and everything ready over there. We got some stuff to buy in the morning. So we are going to pull into the house, you know, take a shower, eat some dinner, just wind down a little bit, and relax. Let me, uh, let me close this gate real quick real quick here there we go as you can see drive down our fully lit driveway i think it looks all right it's uh it feels a little narrow probably should have made it wider but we fit by the way if you uh at any point like the video make sure you click that like button also if you find yourself watching more than one video go ahead and click that subscribe button as it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when the next one is posted so we're here. We're gonna head into the house. Cold today, and uh, we'll see you bright early in the morning. We're gonna get to work. All right, it is eight in the morning. Got ourselves some coffee here. Had a quick little breakfast. Just enjoyed looking out at the pool, looking at the scenery a bit there before we start our day. It is beautiful out here. This uh, this place that we decided to build on. It is quite gorgeous in the morning you see the sunrise and everything and you get all the mist it's 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 great um obviously the water tower is a <laughs> is a downside but oh well let's hop into the truck and uh before we go to the dealership we're actually gonna go and look at a car for the missus so the missus is complaining um that she wants a car so i figure well we're making some good money might as well get the missus a car. So, we are gonna go and take a look at a few over at a car dealership in Wisconsin. And then we have to go and uh, I got a call about a tractor. Now this tractor is a salvage. Uh, apparently, I don't know how bad it is, but apparently he rolled it or tipped it or something. Uh, so I got a call about it and he said if I want it, I you know, if I get it out of the ditch where it's stuck in the field, then it's ours. I mean, obviously we have to pay for it. Uh, so we're going to go look at it, survey the damage on it, see how bad it is, and if it's even a tractor worth us buying, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's going to get some insurance money on it, but I don't know. That's all him. That's always all his deal. Oh, I should have checked them. We'll check the mail when we come home. But we're going to get uh, over to Wisconsin, take a look at this car for the missus. May or may not buy one. Then we got to load up to the trailer, and we got to run out and take a look at that tractor that this guy said he, he wrecked. He told me where he wrecked it, roughly. It's one of his fields, so I guess we'll go see what happened. Driving through McGregor here, about to get on the bridge over to Wisconsin. Prey du Chien, I believe the name of the town is how you pronounce it anyways. And uh, we have not sold any equipment now for a little while. The, uh, the thing that's been saving our butt is the gas the fuel the gas station there the pump that has been making us some money from people traveling up and down the highway so that's been our bread and butter lately that's what's making us all the money and uh i figured we might as well take a little bit of that and instead of reinvesting it back into the business we'll uh we'll buy my wife a, a car here so you i don't know she told me to go look at it now i I'm gonna go out on a limb and say whatever I choice, whatever choice I make is gonna be the wrong one. But <laughs> yeah, I guess she, she should have looked herself if she <laughs> didn't like what I picked. I know that this dealer's got a few cars over here though, so we're gonna see. We'll take a look and see what they got for options. Just right over here is the dealership. They're actually parked right outside already. Nobody coming. We'll pull on in here and uh, take a look at them right off the bat. I see a Jeep. That looks pretty pretty snazzy, like the red. Oh gosh, don't pull on the into the handicap parking, Jake. You're not you're not that kind of guy. You're not rude. You're not rude like that. There we go. Shut off the truck. All right, let's go take a look at these cars here. So we have a Jeep. Grand Cherokee, whoo, ooh, the expensive one. This thing uh, looks pretty new. It's got to be a 2014, 20. I mean, it's pretty new. I don't know the, I don't know what year this one is. 
Actually, it doesn't have that weird front. This might very well be a newer one. 18, perhaps. Hmm. That's got to be expensive. What's this? This is a Honda Accord? Is that what this is? This is an Accord? Oh, yeah. Yep, it's an Accord. It's got... Well, this has got to be a 2009 yeah, it's, a, it's about a 2009. Got a blue color on it. Kind of interesting. Ooh, this is my favorite. I like this. This is a Mitsubishi Lancer. What is this? Uh, 10? A 2010, looks like. Mitsubishi Lancer. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I know the choice I would make. I bet this baby's got a manual. She got a turbo under the hood. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's my pick. That's my pick right there. Which tells me right now, that's the one my wife doesn't want. She, she probably doesn't want one so old. So I'm going to guess she's going to want the Jeep. But we're going to test drive all of these. I have to start with the Mitsubishi, though. Let's fire this thing up. Ooh. All right. Turn on the... Ooh, look at the lights. Oh, yeah. It's got that manual in it. Oh, this, this is the car I would choose. I had to try to talk my wife into it. Oh, <laughs> This is mean. Oh, I love it. I actually, uh, I, when I was looking around at cars. I, I looked at a uh, Lancer in real life. Let's take this thing for a spin. Or what am I saying? This is real life, Jake. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to see how fast this thing will go. Ooh, hit the brakes. Nobody coming. We're going to take this down the interstate. Let's roll. Oh, yeah. Shifting through gears. Loving it. Mitsubishi Lancer 2010. What do you guys think? What do you think of the Lancer? Whoop! Oh, oh gosh. I'm having a little trouble steering her. She's sensitive. Woo! She's she's got light steering. Very sensitive on the steering wheel. Holy cow. Not too bad though. I like it. If I had to take a pick, this would be my pick. Man, this thing is hard to drive though. It is really hard to drive. This interior, I love the red. Red is so cool. Okay. We gotta we gotta turn ourselves around here at some point. Where's the nearest Oh oh this looks promising up here. Yep, okay. We're gonna take this exit. Oh maybe I shouldn't have I should not have taken this exit. Okay. Don't mind me, everybody. Just gonna, gonna hop back on to the interstate. Road construction. Oh yikes. I forgot about that. Well, shoot. Okay, no, this isn't going to work fine because we can take the exit here. Got to slow down in a construction zone, Jake. I want to be that guy. Always slow down for the construction zone. Ooh, let's see how she takes this turn. We're going to go a little fast. Ooh, it hugs it. Oh, gosh! Oh! No, no, no! Oh, my... Well, she takes turns okay. <laughs> We're going to just play that off. <laughs> that didn't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's where I want to go. We left an opening there. I like this car. I do. So, I forgot I have a... Jeez, this thing's hard to drive, though. I forgot I have a mod in that makes, even on solid surfaces, the ground slippy. S slippy. Slippery like it's wet. And uh, we just slid straight off the road. <laughs> back there that was lovely but i definitely like this car it gets up and goes though Ooh, she's floaty at these speeds though i would have thought this thing handled better definitely need some performance upgrades on it let's uh let's roll back up and and test drive one of these other cars shall we let's roll right on in here oh yeah i can already tell this car is making me drive like a jerk I feel like that's just what these kind of cars do to you though man you get a ricer <laughs> you can make it a tuner if you do no performance and do solely cosmetic, you're making an eraser at that point. All right, let's park this thing. She's got some... Oh, I left the lights on. She's got some zip to it, though, that's for sure. All right, let's check out the old Accord. I highly doubt this is going to be the one that we take. Oh, 09 Accord, this thing's getting up there in age. Let's turn on the lights. Oh, this thing is really nice for its age, though. Holy cow. It's in great condition. All right, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Oh, oh! It has more horsepower. It has more. It's got more speed than the, the Mitsubishi. Okay, this this could be fun. Let's take her for a rip, shall we? 
come to a stop here and then let her rip. Let's see. Zero to 60. What do we got? There's no horn. That's wonderful. And punch it. And 60. Oh, she stalled. She stalled at 59 for like a half a second. That, that hurt. Okay, this thing gets up and goes a little bit. Sounds pretty good. I don't know. I don't think this is the, I don't think this is the car though. No, no, even I'm not enjoying this one, to be honest. So now it's down between the Lancer and the Eclipse, or I'm sorry, the, Lan the Lancer and the uh, Grand, Grand Cherokee. Oh, okay. You know what? Enough talking, more driving. All right. We're going to return this car back where it was. I'm just going to pull it in. Screw the man thing of backing a car in. I don't need to do that. Shut off the lights. Now, let's take the uh, Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee for a spin, shall we? Start it up. Ooh. Got a nice little rumble to her. Nothing too crazy. So this one, you can actually uh, pump that. It's got a, the automatic door in the back. That's really nice. The wife would definitely like that. Shoot, I would like that. I would drive one of these. If honestly, if uh, if these Jeeps were more fuel efficient, I would have bought one. I looked at them like crazy. But I wanted one with the panoramic roof. Does this... Oh, it's got the spot for it, but it's not modeled. Dang. That would have been cool. Alright, let's, let's take this thing for... Oh, it's the SRT. This is the Grand Cherokee SRT. This has got to be a lot of money. Let's see. Oh, hold on. You know what? We got to do a 0 to 60 in the middle of the road. And punch it. Oh, 60. Oh, oh, it's definitely the SRT. Holy cow. This thing's got some power, man. Let's turn on them lights. Oh, heck yeah. This thing, this thing's got some zip to it. Forget fuel mileage, but man, slow down. We're going way too fast. Oh, I like, I like the Jeep. I really like the Jeep, actually. Whew, it's just not, not manual, though. That's my problem. I love manual. Oh, well, I could live with it. I could deal with it. That'd be fine. Man, I don't know. I really do like Jeep, though. I, uh, I looked at them like crazy in real life when I was looking for a new car. I would have got one, but they're just not fuel efficient, and I needed something fuel efficient for as much as I drive. All right. Well, we're going to take this back up there. Let me know which one you think we should buy the wife. We're not going to get one today. Take your pick down below. Did we get the Mitsubishi Lancer? Did we get the Jeep Dr Grand Cherokee or the Honda Accord? Which one do we snag? Hit the cones. Lovely. Gotta love it. All right, let's take this back up there and let's actually get to work today. Let me know which one you want to see us get. The wife down below. Jeep, Honda, Mitsubishi. I butchered Mitsubishi right then. Mitsubishi. That's what I sound like. Mitsubishi. I sound like Stitch. Mitsubishi. <laughs> All right. Put this thing away. And then we'll see your guys' picks. <clears throat> Not the Accord. Well, it's the Lancer now. Everybody, we're picking the Lancer. The decision's been made. Stop backing up, please. Thank you. This gear deal is a little difficult sometimes. Okay, let's park that there. You're good enough. Oh, hey, you're good, Accord. Look at you. Yeah, you're fine. That didn't happen. Pretend pretend that didn't happen. I'm... <laughs> So the Mitsubishi Honda Jeep. Let me know down below. Let's roll and get to work today. We gotta head over to the uh we gotta head over to the dealership. Whoop, that's that's not reverse, Jake. That is. There you go. And we gotta get the trailer, and then we're gonna go and take a look at this thing. I figured instead of just going to look at it, we might as well hook up to the trailer now. That way you don't have to make two trips. So to the dealership we go pulling back up at the dealership here everything is looking spiffy out here look at this hmm i would buy stuff from this place if i was some random guy driving down the road and i don't know about you i definitely would 
As you can see, we got all the gravel done yesterday. Let's open this up. There we go. But it looks great. Gravel back here. Got the shed. We extended the gravel all the way back to the fence line, too, so we got even more storage space now. It is amazing the amount of storage room that we gained. Oh, they missed a spot of gravel. How did... Ah, good job, guys. Oh, well. What you gonna do? All right. Got that hooked up. All good to go. Got the winch on there, too. We're gonna roll on over to where this guy said the tractor was and take a look at it. I'm gonna guess we don't buy it, but, you know, if it's not in terrible, terrible condition, we might. Man, I can't pull forward enough to get that door on. <laughs> that gate closed. You have to pull partially on the road. No one's coming. It's okay. Okay, no one's coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Close the gate. There we go. Okay. Nobody's coming. Sweet. We didn't inconvenience anybody. I was like, whoop, gotta hurry. Oh, and I cut myself short because of the way I tried to pull out of there. Good job, Jake. Good job. Professional trailer driver right here. I drive trailers for days. That's right. I don't drive the trucks. I drive the trailers. Ah, oh, shoot. Guys, we, we lost the tow hook. Ah, uh, okay. Well, the tow hook fell off the trailer at some point, apparently. Dang it. Well, we're going to have to go buy a tow hook real quick. Slight change of plans, but... Can't tell this thing out if we don't have a tow hook. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. I don't. No, stop. Please, come back. I didn't, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have laughed. Okay, guys. Look, I planned... I planned on going to get that, but... We're gonna... We're gonna save that for another day. I have a meeting with Grant at 9. It's 9.05. I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you find yourself watching more than one video, click that subscribe button. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.